Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be about my 2020 Cobb Foolery Contest entry. Before I do that, uh, I just wanted to go over some things that, you know, I think we all kind of know um, in regards to pipes and pipe smoking in general and whatnot. Because as we all know, there are a lot of different people with a lot of different tastes. So, some people prefer larger cobs, the standards, you know, uh, such as this one. Some people want something that's uh, nice, but kind of different, such as this one. Uh, the Dagner Cob, the, the Dagner Custom Poker, and the uh, Devil's Ants Acorn are actually two of my favorite standard cob shapes uh, from Missouri Meerschaum. Um, and some people want something a little a little more out there. So, for example, uh, this was made out of that pipe. And I reshaped it and took out all the filling and added a bone shank with horn. This was an entry from last year. Uh, great smoker. Nice and cool. Definitely uh, large and different. And then uh, this was the other entry from last year. Which was a claw pipe which features the briar claw with the uh, cob egg a nice church warden stem much like the other one um, also one of my personal favorites uh, and and you know you've got nicer and you've got more rustic this is one of my other favorites and this is more of a kind of a, a rustic shape uh, I like to think of it as um, this is my shop pipe uh, when I'm out working or when I'm going to the ranch. Um, it's just a very simple mod, you know, an antler shank with a little bit. I've done some work since I recently started back up with it, so it's a little on the rough side right now. But again, it's a shop pipe, and this one's uh, just to take around the beat-up pipe, you know. Nothing too fancy or special. Um, but... As I was saying, different pipes for different people. So, last year, uh, had a little bit of an incident. Uh, kind of a funny story, actually, because I was thinking, and another um, piper was thinking, uh, we would try something that nobody else has done before, you know, that, that nobody had done. And then we wound up both having the same idea and going out at uh, different routes. That would be... Uh, the claw pipe now You know, I thought okay. Well, I'll go classic shape and uh, they thought the same thing and It was kind of a, a funny circumstance to be honest with you and uh, There was another idea that I had had that I was thinking about going with that I decided not to uh, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't because there was another participant that had a similar idea in a different uh, category. Um, but so, this year I decided to do something that I knew without a doubt that nobody has done before. That nobody that I know of that has participated or would participate would do or consider doing. Um, and so I, I did something, I, I did something cool, I don't really know how to put it, but, so this is what I like to call the true Aristocob. Now, this particular one, uh, I picked up off of eBay, and, uh, it was originally bought from the tinderbox, pardon my finger pointing. Um, but I bought it as new with all original inserts, unsmoked, clumsy hands, all unsmoked. These were originally made by, I believe, Alcob, Alcob? Corporation, and then were later bought out by Aristocob uh, LLC, and then finally owned by Missouri Meerschaum. 
Uh, this one is, in fact, a Missouri Meerschaum pipe. And I took the liberty of hand engraving the whole pipe. Now, these pipes are made out of aluminum. This is a system pipe. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with this type of pipe, uh, basically the cap here unscrews and you can take your insert in and out and put different inserts in it. Of course they come with corn cobs originally uh, and it's, it's just a neat, it's a neat little pipe. So this one is obviously the, uh, the fancier pipe for your corn cob smokers. Uh, I like corn cobs. I prefer corn cobs. Um, usually, every now and again, uh, I have a couple briars that I really like. Um, there's something about a, a corn cob that just smokes smokes differently. Um, but yeah, so this is the true aristocob, and I call it the true aristocob because you know it's it's hand engraved, and so it's a little a little fancier than, than what you would typically uh, get. Let's see if I can get a little better focus in there. As you can see, I've got a leaf border that wraps around the whole deal until you get to the back. I've got this leaf border here that extends up the center as my uh, center guide. This pattern continues around the entire um, cap. It's the same pattern, repeating pattern. Uh, a typical... Um, pattern that you would find on like an engraved wedding band or, or something similar uh, and this is just typical border leaves um, this was a very interesting piece to make um, I'll be posting a video here shortly uh, kind of the uh, the making of and I'll have some pictures of before and after and in between process some video of actually having to cut some of this a lot of this because of the shape of the whole thing uh, had to be held by hand while cutting uh, each of the the lines and cuts and stuff so it was very um, very much a learning experience and a lot of hours put into into doing this but I'm very happy with the way that it turned out very happy with the way that it turned out and as far as uh, legitimacy because obviously it was owned by one company and then owned by another and then later owned by Missouri Meerschaum and and what have you. So, to make sure that uh, I do abide by all the rules, I actually contacted uh, Missouri Meerschaum. And, uh, well, I started off with this series of emails uh, basically stating, hey, I bought this pipe. Um, I sent them pictures of it. Uh, and then asking if... Uh, they had any information on age because it does have a Missouri Meerschaum filter inside of it and since this was an unsmoked pipe I saw no reason why anybody would uh, want to take it out and so for me that was a pretty pretty good giveaway that this was in fact a uh, Missouri Meerschaum piece but um, if I sent plenty of pictures of everything And uh, uh, Miss Marilyn got back to me and forwarded the email to her uh, museum curator so that he could get uh, specific dates, but she said this is definitely one of theirs. And uh, so Mr. Eli, who is a museum curator, had emailed me back with information in regards to uh, rough age um, 1970 was when the original Aristocob was introduced by Alcob Corp. Um, and then later uh, became Aristocob LLC. Uh, and then uh, Missouri Meerschaum bought them out uh, 
in between uh, that and this date here, uh, which is when they disappeared from their catalogs, uh, is what he said. Um, there is more information on Scott Markwood's channel, uh, Aristocob. Um, he does a great video uh, kind of explaining some of these. He actually collects uh, these, which is pretty cool. And it was the... Uh, I actually found this by accident um, when I was looking up uh, a different thing. I was looking up falcon pipes and different system pipes, and that's when I came across this and was like, hey, that would be a great idea <laughs> for the, uh, the contest. But enough rambling. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and head outside, and uh, you can see this pipe in action. All right, guys. Well, here we are outside. I've got my true Aristocob in hand, smoking some black vanilla that I got from a local uh, tobacco shop. It's really good stuff. I'm kind of bummed that most places are closed. Um, it happens. I mean, it doesn't, like, just happen, but you get what I'm saying. I'm also using my, uh, my Zippo. This is one that I did a little work on a while back, too. I don't know if you're going to be able to... Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. But not worth it. I've got one of my other ones inside, but I like using that one. This is nice. And this one I did a little work on too a little while back, and I basically just took the uh, this side and did a little engraving on. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit of. You can kind of make it out. Not as well as my other one though. But uh, anywho. The true Aristocob. Anyway, guys, vote for the true Aristocob, and uh, we'll see you later.